differences between waterfall model and incremental model so first of all what is waterfall model so in waterfall model any phase of development of the development process of a software begins only if the previous phase is completed so in waterfall model there are various phases like requirement designing implementation testing maintenance so after the previous stage is completed then only the next step can be carried out further but in incremental model the development will take uh, as the project will increment that is in stages the series of releases is referred to as increments with each increment like the big project of the software will be divided into small modules and as and when a small part of the project module is completed it can be directly delivered and it can be delivered to the users or the customers and based on the customer feedback a plan is developed and in the next in the further steps there are modifications or changes that are made accordingly as per the user now waterfall model there is only one cycle in waterfall model incremental model multiple development cycles take place in incremental model because in incremental model there can there is the possibility of returning to the earlier phase which is not possible in waterfall model so in waterfall model and incremental model in both of them one point similar that is cost is low the construction cost is low now returning to earlier phase is not possible in waterfall model but in incremental model returning to earlier phase is possible as based on user feedback there are there are a lot of changes made in the further steps now in waterfall model proper documentation is necessary now in incremental model the proper documentation is necessary but not very much as for every step there can be changes made and in waterfall model documentation is very much necessary and compulsory because for every step after the step is completed then only the second step can be started so that's why there should be a proper documentation like how the first step should be completed properly then only the second step can be started because returning to the earlier phase is not possible in waterfall model now in waterfall model adaptability and flexibility to change is difficult and in incremental model it is easily adaptable and flexible now in waterfall model the user involvement is only at the beginning this is because once the user or the customer will give the, their ideas to the development team only at that time the user involvement will be there that is only at the beginning now in incremental model it is intermediate because in incremental model as and when the stages will be completed like if a project is distributed into five stages if the first stage is completed it is shown to the customers and then again their feedback is taken for further improvements in the second or third or the fourth stages so that's why for the as an incremental model there is there is again and again a need of proper feedback from the users of the software that's why the user involvement is intermediate now in waterfall model there is high risk involvement because you cannot return to the uh, earlier phase this is the reason there is high risk involvement and it needs a proper plan now incremental model low risk because changes can be made any time now the framework is linear so it has a linear framework now incremental model it is linear and iterative now in waterfall model the testing is done that is testing after coding phase the testing is done only after the basic coding of the software is done now in incremental model after every iteration that is after every model is com uh, completed it is tested now in waterfall model there is no overlapping each and every stage is segregated and it is simple and it is a single step complete step now in incremental model model there is overlapping now waterfall model has long waiting time for running software because only after it is fully completed it can be implemented that is fully coded but incremental model has short waiting time because each and every module as and when it is completed it can be tested now 
phases are processed one at a time and each stage is clearly defined now in incremental model the project is divided into smaller parts and each is individually prepared 